Hey guys, this is Killrob speaking and today we are back in Pro Cycling Manager 2018 with Niklas Svensson. And I haven't played this game for over a month, even though there have been plenty and plenty of episodes. And I'm recording this, which episode was the last one going live? I think 36. So I'm still way ahead. Uh, anyway, this is um, the, the first episode of Season 4 and as you can see I'm already way ahead of you. I've already planned out most of it because that is boring shit usually to do. I've already spent over half an hour going through and placing my um, uh, my uh, locations for holidays. That's the most important part. So you've all watched my how to do fitness training video in uh, uh, that I I've made the separate one that just talks about that and or fitness planning rather. Yes. So this is all looking pretty good. I'm about to sign off these changes, but let's quickly go through. What are the main objectives of this season? Well, I would say we focus on the Giro d'Italia and uh, La Vuelta. And uh, don't do the Tour de France because that might get a little too much. Yeah, it's very hard to get a focus on that. And you can't have a focus on both the Tour Oh, you, you can't have a focus on every oh, on the three major tours. That's impossible. You have to choose two. Um, either La Vuelta uh, and then there is an or between the El Giro and the Tour de France because they are falling pretty close to, to each other. I believe that was the case. Maybe it was the other way around. Anyway, you can't choose a fitness peak for all three. That's impossible. So, what do we have? Uh, I try to put in a bit of a mixed bag, even some smaller ones in here, because they give me plenty of experience, and experience is pretty good if you have a general still lack of stats. I mean, level 21 is good and all, but uh, I would love to see some level up ups happening. The sooner the better. Before the Giro d'Italia, I definitely want to have a level up, and I think that should be easy. So, we're starting off with a very high fitness level, um, and this is the 1st of January still? Yes, it is. So, to the under. I've set my first fitness peak for that, and then because of this bug, we are not going to have any any kind of tiredness. Um, first rest in between here, so it will go from Friday to Thursday. That's one week. And that is the week where we rest. So from Friday to Thursday, so that's the first rest week there. And then there's a lot of little shit and bigger shit. Lots of blue stuff though, which is nice. Paris Nice, that's that that is awesome, but. Milano Sanremo, ay 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 ay, that one is in a bad spot, bad spot, quite detached from everything else, blocks our week, our resting week here, so we will have it from the 19th till the 25th, and we switch over, and we do the Basque tour, that one is always rough, really really rough, and then we have no time for rest until the 23rd till the 29th of April, and right after that, it fits perfectly in, we are going into the Giro d'Italia. Fortunately, that ends on a Thursday, so we can have a rest break right after that, so we don't get too much tiredness build up. Then uh, to the Swiss, uh, the fucking Swedish races, ah, they are always awful. But then this is the, the area where there's the Tour de France. We are not racing this one. Maybe try to get rid of some, um, some additional tiredness by just lowering the effort slightly between the rest weeks, that is. And that allows us to uh, get back to zero level after the next rest. And as you can see, there's a rest week here, right before La Vuelta. Looking good, looking good. And then, unfortunately, the World Championships here are in the way. But then the week after here, that should be fine from the 24th till the 30th. I don't know when the World Championship road race is. It might actually be in this area. Maybe it is right before here. I, I don't know. But anyway, I'm trying to get in my rest week here. And that is the end of the season. So that's uh, 288 points. I think I've uh, put in all the races I can. Not really. Uh, this one. W was this interesting? No, it's not really interesting. And this one uh, seems a bit too easy too. And I don't want to mess it up for, for this one. So now nah, let's just confirm. That is great. And now let's have a quick look at the training because 
progression. So well, this is our current potential. Looking good, still looking for a bit more flat. Mountain is maxed out. Um, hill stat is still not maxed out. Not even close to, and that's great news. So maybe we can get a bit of a level up there. Time trial, I want to get back up to 85 if possible. And we have sacrificed a point twice now, I believe. From 85 down to 83. Uh, prologue still has a lot of room to rise. Cobble, don't care. Sprint is... Uh, yeah. It, it, it is what it is. And acceleration already pretty, pretty high. We're pretty close to a maximum there. Downhill also, same thing. Barouder, difficult to get. Doesn't matter. Uh, stamina. I do want to have more stamina. Otherwise, I will have a hard time competing in those one-day classics. Resistance is getting there. I would be uh, looking for an 82 overall, roughly. And then recovery. Uh, another point in there wouldn't be too bad either. But that's what we have. And season objectives. So what I'm going to do here is... Um, well, I'm just going to put in very high starting, uh, starting condition. And then two or down under, the first one. Boom. There. There we have our first fitness peak. And I do that because I want to have as large a distance as possible between those. Uh, those goals so that I can be sure that the fitness peak doesn't trigger way too late or too early and so on although mm, One could argue that it would be a little better if it triggered slightly late for the Giro d'Italia and for the La Vuelta But it might might come automatically. I don't know. Let's let's just see how it goes uh, Should be fine. I think we can confirm those goals and then Add a day to the calendar and then we have to do fitness planning because you can't do that before then so we accept that and advance one day and stop it right away come on boop, boop, boop. Yep, yep, yep exactly okay closing the market yes yes so now training yeah how much tightness do we have we have of course zero I guess let's see uh, tightness zero yes and now for the training. Let me build this up. I've noted down all the dates um, where we are not racing and where I do want to have my little break. All right, I've put in all the breaks that I had scheduled and it's looking like a mess over there. So now it, come, it comes down to the fine tuning. Okay, I think I'm done with that. Uh, yeah, this, this is not how it's going to be. Uh, that's, that's not how it works. Um, but I think this is a pretty good schedule overall. There are only a few parts which are worrying. And that is, uh, let me see, getting up to speed for La Vuelta again. After having a bit of a, of a down there after the Swedish championships. And I think, even though this states ridiculous numbers of uh, tiredness, I don't think that is actually going to be the case. The schedule is looking good. I softened it here and there, like for the first part, which is a longer period. Just soften it up so that we are not getting to the top there, because that builds up a lot of tiredness. And... The Basque Country Tour on a little bit lower levels. And then for the Giro, we should be at a constant 97%. That is good enough if we hit our fitness peak as well. And that should get us to the end here without any tiredness whatsoever. Like, any tiredness whatsoever in... Like, not no tiredness that really harms us. 54% is not what we're going to have. You have to at least, at the very least, subtract... Uh, what would that be? Like 15%? So let's see how that goes. <laughs> okay, we can choose. Oh, Richie Port? We could choose Richie Port as our little slave. But no, we're not going to do that. For the Tour Down Under? No, 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 that's a bit of a waste. I, I'm happy. I'm happy I don't need team teammates. Okay, we're here. Santos Tour Down Under. And let's take a look at our training plan. What it looks like now. Ah! You see that? Lots better, lots better. Indeed, it was just 2% here and not uh, 17. So this is all easy. Exactly 20 here, which then gets reduced to zero. Yeah, perfect preseason there. 
and we are already up at uh, 94% fitness rating for the Tour Down Under. We didn't reach our fitness peak, so that will come for these little races. So, time to get going. Let's uh, have a look. This is a slightly undulated, very short stage. Everyone is sweating their asses off. Um, Alright. Yep, let's go. That sounds like a lot of wind. Oh, oh, and we have rolled a zero. Um, also known as a minus one for this one. Looking pretty good though. I mean, short stage might get a little crazy. We do have support. And with so much wind out there, I'm just going to sit at the front at 70. Don't yo-yo. No yo-yoing today. Well, that was reasonably painless. I think they are away. Are they? Are they still riding hard? Ah, uh, someone is still trying to leave the penalty. Anyway, but they are 2 minutes 10 now. Whoop! Oh, oh, we just just about dodged that fall. Well, just took place in the pack. Several riders are on the oh, there they go. That and with like that really wind in the peloton, that shame, might actually be pretty difficult further. for them to get back. Several... But we're waiting up front here. So, okay. As not not too dangerous. We're still a little way back to those who actually did fall. Okay, let's have a look at the terrain. Looks like a very fast finish. Uh, last kilometer and a half or so is at about negative uh, two degrees slope. The only obstacle in our way is this tiny little climb. Oh, Froome has fallen. Serious. And Kittel. Kittel is down. He to have that to is some serious wind though. 43? Ouch! So let's um, just uh, test our legs a little. We're going up here at 80. Oh, the others are going even harder. Okay. Oh, I see. They they were going for the mountain jersey. Well, that makes sense. And now the penalty is split. 29 seconds, 30 seconds. And they might actually not be able to get back. Now, oh no, 30 seconds now, 32. Just they ball. just took out a bit of quickly. speed there, but it, the difference grew to 40 seconds. And there could be some falls here in those corners. Yeah, they are riding super hard, but now they are back. It will have cost them some energy to uh, to get back, to chase that. And 10 kilometers left. A ball has just in the Five kilometers Several left. Let's trigger our bar. And we do need to move up further to the front, but I, I don't see how right now. Come on, yep, yeah, take that line on the outside. The are move, move, the move. Now, finally. Okay. Now we're getting to the front. Let's have a quick look at the map, too. Uh, is this... Are there lots of corners? No, there are not. It's pretty straightforward, so... No chance against the big sprinters. And now we have our bar active. Perfect timing. They seem to be going, aren't they? The beat, don't don't move ahead of yourself. That is a little too fast. Uh I think everyone will be trying to sprint, but there's so much wind. Let's see. Is this headwind? Is this actually headwind? Where's my little flag? Where is it? Oh no. It's tailwind. What the fuck? Okay, that should be easy. Although the game might be stupid and not calculate that. That's like 50 is way too slow for having that much tailwind. They would be riding like 70 kilometers an hour or something. So anyway, let's uh, let's really pull. Let's really pull. I mean, we have no chance of winning here, but um, if we go with that... He's actually a sprinter. Oh, that's, that's good to know. Very good to know. Oh... We are going sprinting now. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, Niklas. Oh, Niklas. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, no, no, it was good, good placement. There we are across the line. Seventh. Yeah, as, as one would expect. Decent positioning up front there. And could have sprinted earlier. Of course, you're going to say that. I would point out that it wouldn't have made much difference. For the back markers, who appear to be so, decent placement in the first race of the season. 
And we are currently in 10th. Exceptional. But we get zero experience points for that. Oh, yes. Uh, well, by the way, we are, of course, in a new team. I forgot to show who is in here. Well, let's take a look at our squad. Uh, attributes. And, like, without them being shit right now. So, whom do we have in here? We have Van Avermaet. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's pretty nifty. Although, 35 years, he has seen better days. And then... We have the time trial gods. No, not only Nicholas, but also uh, Ron Dennis. And Richie Port is the big one for the stage races. Apart from Nicholas. He's kind of the opposite of Nicholas. Uh, he is decent at time trialing. But has its stre his strength in the mountains. He's also 35. Whoa. These guys are getting old. The overall very, very solid team. There are plenty of time trials in here. And that should mean that whenever there's a team time trial, we will be able to grab it um, unless they they don't sense their best <coughs> political reference. Well, this stage looks a lot more interesting, and I wouldn't say it's a flat one. Uh, 150k is very undulated terrain. And here we go again. Roll to zero. Um, minus one race day condition. It's not too terrible. Uh, this is indeed not super hilly, just a little niggly, niggly climbs, they are tedious. The, the, it, this would be the anti mech spec territory, <laughs> this is just hills that are not really hills. Uh, here in the front section there, it's pretty difficult. Alright, race is settled, five riders up front, two minutes on the clock only, uh, it's a bad distance. I hope they are getting a bit more. Uh, well, oh, no, now we have some helpers. That's looking neat. He's already protecting us. He has a decent-ish hill rating too. He's a time trialer. Okay. Uh, and this guy? Oh, he's more potent. Come on. You protect me instead. <laughs> okay, Chris Room is actually in the escape group. How interesting. Maybe that is why he's not... Uh, the, the, the escapees are not let loose too far. 1 minute 10 on the clock now. 60 kilometers left, so they could have three minutes now and would still be fine. So we're getting close to the finish. Um, just this tiny little hill and then two stretched out um, slopes to the line. Ten kilometers to Considering the that we still have our full resistance, I'm not too worried about the pace of all. Oh, okay, Svensson has fallen on, on the upslope. Very interesting. Let's hope he's riders. getting up quickly. Come on. The are Come on. Front. It'll probably be a mass sprint yes, yes, go, go, go. Uh, we are losing time here. So I, I just need to go super hard. Uh, it looks like we're back, but um, just need to keep going. Oh shit, the peloton is up front. Yeah, I just need to 99 it. Like, go as hard as you can. And they are just blocking me. Come on. Five kilometers left. Oh, die, you fucking assholes. Let me through. Yes. All right. Uh, 53 seconds ahead, those bastards. All right, we're still riding. Now we have our bar. But we're not getting to the there front group, the are we? The strong men are giving their all. Oh, maybe we are. Maybe we are. Uh, no, we are not. Final kilometer there. All right. Yeah, yeah, you guys go. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's counting as a flat stage, so it may not be making any time difference. That will be fantastic. They really had to fight for that one. A great sprint finish. The tail enders are still coming in. We still finished in the top 30 there, actually. And here are a few of the key moments. Oh, that was the slowest sprint ever. Oh no, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? 56 seconds. Ah oh, no. Well, so much for that. Alright, well that was a failure. Uh, let's continue to the third stage and see if we can do any better. Is this one of the hilly ones? Yes, it is. Alright, we should be able to get into the first group here for this one. Although this is very Puncher-esque. So the Kwiatkowski's of this world and Tim Wellens, yeah, of course. 
he is probably going to take it. And here we go. Oh, come on. Now we rolled a minus one. Keeping it steady. Keeping it steady at minus one for the whole fucking tour. All right, Niklas. What do we have in store for us today? Uh, pretty much like the last tour, but uh, this time the finish is uphill. Eh, not last tour, last stage, I mean. Uh, let's just keep safe up front. Oh, now we're supposed to do other work. Let's see. Uh, race strategy. Uh, one of the leaders. In service of the leaders. Okay. And we're supposed to do some work of the head of the group. Okay. Do we want that? Yeah, I guess I can I can start out with some, some pulls. 15 kilometers done. Almost there. And on over this little hill and... Oh! Who, who's falling? Oh, just Tom Dumoulin is falling. Oh, okay, 100%. I'm done, guys. I'm done. Back, oh, and Tom Dumoulin is out. Yeah, right. Considering there's no mountain stage in this one and there's no time trial in this one, I wouldn't have been worried about him anyway, but uh, still. Everyone is back together. 20 kilometers left to go. And we do need to trigger our spec bar really... Spec bar! Oh! Veggie bar! We need to trigger it. Oh! Oh. Okay, hold the button. Yes, oh, I dodged it. Oh, fucking yeah. Oh, this might be interesting. Uh, come on, we can ride this. Go 85. Go 85. This might be good. C come on, ride. 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 Yes. Just ride 85. I mean, resistance shouldn't be an issue, right? Now we're in an escape group. Very good. One minute on the clock to the next ones. Uh, that's a turn of events, for sure. All right, let's do some proper lead work here. Lead with 85. We don't need our resistance. We just need to get there ahead of the others. Okay, 5.6 kilometers left, so let's trigger the bar. It's looking good. One minute on the clock. Okay, okay, okay. We are... We are moving into the climb very soon as one of the first ones, and now the bar's triggered. The bar's triggered. Let's get into position. Come on. Push, push, push. There's the climb. We have a perfect position here. Two point something kilometers. Let's go pretty hard, like 95. That should be decent. Who's this? Mr. Spookos. And yes, we are leading into the climb as one of the first. And who's who else is here? Who else is here? They're not that great. Oh, quick, um, not that great. And <laughs> it's Kwiatkowski. Yes, okay. Um, well, we might not win this, but... Uh, oh, and Lutsenko. Uh, oh, and... Fun oh, fuck. Oh, okay. There's some really good guys in here. Uh, so I just try to be efficient at 95. Just go up this and block these other the bastards a little bit. A like Kwiatkowski like this. Yes, yes. Are you trying to get past? Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's trying to. <clears throat> he was trying to. He uh, he was corrected in that. So, uh, let's go and sprint. Come on, Niklas. Go, go, go. Push, push, push. Oh, oh, fuck. And there goes the man oh, fuck. <laughs> well, no, nothing in the tank. Nothing in the tank. But we are coming in with the first group. I hope. I hope. Come on. Come on. Really yes. Well. There should be a gap there. So, what do we get? Oof, yes. There are plenty of gaps. Now, what does that mean for the finals? Ooh, there, there are more gaps there, even. What does it mean for the general? Uh, now we are in 11th. Okay. That got us up a bit. Still three seconds missing to these these people. Um, hmm. All right. 24 points for this. Not too bad. Uh, we did our work as well, so that that's also giving us a few of these points. And I think that's it for today, really. Did our season prep, and now we're in the midst of it already. Tour de Lander. So what's coming up? Let's quickly take a look. Well, uh, next episode we are having... Ooh, that's, that's that stage. Yes, that's quite interesting. Pretty hard. Um, yeah, race these, and then... A few of this as well, like two of these. Getting through it really quick, I guess. And I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time.